Please, sir. What? Wake up. <laughs> we found him out in the shadows, just wandering. <laughs> I'm Isabel. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Look at Shadow Heart's face. She hates her. Every day, my queen. What the f is that thing? Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the last episode, we finally made our way into the Shadowlands, and seems like the tieflings that we saved at the grove ended up here too. And now everybody's trapped, half the people got kidnapped. Uh, by the absolute and taken to the moonrise towers and it's like I gotta save so many people because everybody's been taken over there So I do wonder what the absolute has planned because they keep taking important people specifically leaders of the tieflings uh, One of Baldur's Gate's heroes like Will's dad like these all these people they keep taking so I wonder why Why do they keep doing that? Do they need assets for something because it kind of seems that way. Is that a cat? It's a- it's an animal. Okay, wait. Hang on. Talk to this thing. Talk- His Majesty! That's such a cat's hiss. name. I say hiss! <laughs> oh my god! Intimidation. Let me hiss back at the kitty. Ah, oh, no! Not enough! I was just like one- one off. Wait, what does the cat say if I- if I just continue? <laughs> Begone. Oh my god, I love that it has like this British accent. That's pretty Still funny. Alive. Your move, Maul. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage. No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it. Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it. For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Yeah, you kind of did. Where now, Chief? Say, so, <laughs> do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Oh, she's being a trickster little thing. Okay. Ooh, wait, should I do sleight of hand? Will this work? It's a, it's a risk. Damn it! Reroll, reroll! <laughs> the dice hates me! What the hell? Listen, I don't like him, so let the kid win. <laughs> Asterion and Carl like approve. <laughs> How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You what will was that? consider it, won't you? What are you talking to? Don't talk to this kid! What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. I agree, she smack cheated, him. She cheated, of course, but that's half her charm. Is that why you're here? To play games? To play the game. The vast lance board of souls. But don't you worry about Maul. It goes without saying. She still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. What did you offer now, her? let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. Asteri, please a be careful. Proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. 
This is serious business. Devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved infernal ruins into my back. They're a fragment of a contract. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know what the full contract says. Hmm. I still think this is a bad idea. Asterion's probably gonna not like it when I say this. This is a bad idea, Asterion. We should find another way. Oh, such impatience. Not impatience! I just don't trust it's you, sir. It's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. You'll get back to me. This is important. He's Devil. so sassy. When? Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. I don't like that. And he just disappeared. I don't like that, though. Oh my god. I did miss that face, you know. Any comments, Will? A blushing apple begging to be plucked? Yeah, he's creepy. Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. We need to warn her away from Raphael before it's too late. Mm, we should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her I neck. still think we should tell her One she's still a another. kid. She'll see there's no winning Raphael's game. And she'll walk away. And if she doesn't... Then Raphael collects another trophy. And Mole sells her independence to the hells. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Mole would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Yeah, I imagine he has something to say about that just because he's in a pact with the demon. Where's this kid? Well, Alright, let's go in here so we can me. talk about Will's dad. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. What's happening? Flory. Hells. I know that voice. Oh. Will? In Timora's name, what happened to you? The Hells have had their vengeance. And I doubt they are done with me. Ye gods. Fate has no shortage of troubles to burden us with. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? Um. Not yet. Uh, you're talking about a guy sleeping. I kind of want to ask about that. What's with the fellow in the cot? Isabel cleared this place and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. It beggars oh. belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something can useful we, can about Can we talk to him? Maybe shadows. he can help, yeah. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. Song? I'd like to talk to him. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but feel free to say hello. Maybe, Maybe I can do something with my magic. I don't know. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Damn, there too. Holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. Oh no! Gortash, as in Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's oh, I feel bad for Karlak. What the hell? Well. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. I should know this because I'm Baldarian. Lord Gortash, I thought he was no more than a counselor. 
Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. Oh, that it's explains no why. You the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethric throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her no, guidance. I like her. I'll work with her. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Oh, I'm actually glad I brought both of them so we can get that dialogue. Okay, um, so this person right here, right? Who the hell is this? What the hell is that over there? Two of us saved till the end? So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when yeah. he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. I was gonna say, this what? why did he sell her off? Authority makes me sick. Can we kill him when we get there? <laughs> we'll make him answer for what he did to you as soon as we get to the city. Oh, the city. Baldur's Gate. Home. I can almost taste it, you know. Not even Gortash can spoil that. Don't worry, girl. We'll set everybody on fire. Okay, I want to talk about what's Heard going on with this guy. Heading toward the towers. Um, you heard right. With a single word, Floric could charge the coast's most powerful force with taking back the Grand Duke. We ought to be doing just that, not babysitting this stump. Hey, don't call and the yet, sleeping guy that. Maybe he's orders imported. Are orders. Please, sir. Uh, wake <laughs> up. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. <laughs> Nothing survives uh, out there for long. Wait, was he awake? He made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell. Yet it has not broken. <gasps> oh! Wait, is this... Daniel! That's what Halson was talking about. I've heard the name Thaniel from a friend of mine, Halson. Really? Could you bring him here? <gasps> is he gonna be in my party? Help, wouldn't you, sir? Because I really want Halson in my party. Yes, I can. Let me have a look at him. Oh, if you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. No, let me look. Cause like, you never know. I could do something. So, sir, okay. Look for any signs of erratic magic afflicting this man. All right, here we go. Spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A Sharan realm without color or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. Without a reminder of who he is, of what he held dear, his mind will remain lost to the darkness. Look closer, there may be something you missed. Yeah, you know, let me do that too. I need to get some bonuses, oh my god. Dude, that dice hates me! Oh my god! Do it again! His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. Is he a bard? Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Flame Kalik, do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't saying. All right, we gotta get Halson in here. What's that in his War pocket? Hmm. Looks official. Rank Flame, obtain the information about the current activities in Moonrise Towers, and in Beer is headed for the Kethrak Thorn, the region of ancestral Thorn family. Take lodging in the last light inn and begin investigation in the local house of healing. Report to in indicate corruption or no corroboration has yet been obtained. 
The Regent Thorne family is long-standing devotees of Saloon, but rumors indicate that Sharad and Clave might be gaining momentum. Investigate the report. Grand Duke Elton? Huh. Wonder what he found. House of Healing. There is a flaming fist at last light. The curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy called Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Oh wait, so you're not gonna be in my party? Damn it! <laughs> Thaniel and me. He's it's singing. true then. He's met Daniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. You're welcome. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Daniel. Um, any ideas? If he was able to escape the Shadow Fell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. There must be another way to lift the curse. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how Damn, I can so find it's just him, him without speaking to this man. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. Are you just gonna hang out here, I guess? Okay, so looking at the Shadowland area, we got one here. House of Healing is that way. Nice strategy back there. Oh, kid, we I need to talk to you. Together. I bet you and me could make a tidy stack of queen in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, Look, we could, kid, but you gotta be careful. Be a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. No, kid, don't do it. No, kid. No. Let me try this one. Did you not hear it? The power of the nine hells woven in every word. He is a devil who wishes for your very soul. enough oh god okay thank god <laughs> you you aren't joking i'm not really gonna blame oh. mole because mole's a kid i kind of believe him more now than i did a minute ago are you serious what exactly did he offer you protection for me and my kids that's all not that it's any of your business i'm not oh, my inside whatever fail. trade you made with him I haven't made a deal. He's just tempting me. Looked like he was doing a pretty good job. If I had to deal with gods and worms in my head, I'd make a deal with anyone. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Oh now my god. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal. Maybe I won't, but it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. Okay, kid, listen, it, it'll be your choice, but the consequences will be on you. One of the worst things about getting old, watching kids make the same exact mistakes you made. Yeah. And knowing there's absolutely nothing you can say to change their mind. Then again, Mole's a hell of a lot smarter than I was at that age. Maybe she'll figure it out. I hope she will. She will. She's clever. Frighteningly so. I'm gonna ho uh, give her the benefit of the doubt because she is very clever. True enough. She'll go far in the city. We've just got to get her there safely. What a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. Wait, that bear? Darkmoor the Wicked? <laughs> the Terror of Cloakwood? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You stole away more Draw children more than way. any vampire. Straight from the And store. look at you now. <laughs> Don't be shy. Have <laughs> a gander giggle. at the finest Darkmoor stop. the Wicked. Legendary King of the Forest. I'm glad you guys knew because I didn't freaking know who that was. Maybe. Anyway. Legend has it. His kingdom ran from the Wood of Sharp Teeth to Cloak Wood. How'd he end up here? Bloody army. Don't know. All right, let's see what what the people are doing on the outside, and then we'll head over to the healing house. What the hell is that over there? There's like a house. Somebody's house. Please, I just want to be alone. Why are you crying? It's Dennis. 
He's gone. Cultists. It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away. But my love... Dennis... Martin Dahl, Roshan. How did you manage to get away? I've always been good at running. Damn, so Dennis Unlike was Dennis, was an athletic. I didn't realize one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could have said goodbye. No, girl, I'll go look for him. Dennis could be alive. Don't give up yet. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. I'll find Dennis and bring him back to you. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find we him, will because we we are all going that way anyway. So I hope I can find all these people that are missing. Oh but I have a feeling most of them are probably dead. Oh Let's go to the creepy house first because that that kind of intrigues me. All right, let's see if this works out for us. Up ahead, the shadow curse hangs thick, its dark tendrils curling and stuffing out life and life. Even those with oil smeared torches are not safe. Turn back now. Okay, l let me try. I want to see. Creepy. So there's a statue here. Wait. So the door- this whole like house is like covered in it. That might be worth a look. Turn on some lights in here too. Might help. I'm gonna turn on all the lights I can. That's good. Am I gonna like get killed if I stepped in the door? Yo, there's a whole skeleton in there. Oh my god. <gasps> there's a downstairs part. Creepy, creepy. Let's go inside. <sighs> the dark's strong here. Oh. This torch is useless. Interesting. So I can't. So yeah, we really do need something, right? Okay. We won't go that way. We gotta go down this path. What the f*** is going on over here? <gasps> this is probably where the Absolute took them. Like, uh, executed them and then took them away, right? Whatever killed them, looks like they put up a fight. Dead cultists. Yep, it's them. No! Okay, let me turn on the, the on brazier first. Let me use my spell. The corpse has nothing to say. Really? Can I not talk to them? We have to go this way still. Oh my god, this is so like... Oh man, this is so creepy. But I picked up prison keys from them. Do you think there's like more being held somewhere? There has to be, right? The corpse regards you lifelessly. How did you end up here? Trapped shadow mastiffs repels them with flame. Well, we can be grateful for the torches. Without them, those beasts would be on us in no time. Right. How are the torches still burning? Spell. Continual flame. Who were you in life? True soul of the absolute. Call is my name. How did you die? Unslaked hunger. Oh, so they just starved. Unquenched. What is your profession? A wizard. General Thorne's favorite. Oh. 
the spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Interesting. Okay. Time stop for an ambush. What the hell are these things? Ignis. Miss? Huh? What do you mean, miss? What the hell are they? They look like gremlins. Oh, hell no, they're getting closer. everything on fire I don't know it's hot in here oh I have she has her torch equipped no <laughs> what the fuck What the? Oh my, oh my God. Yo! Dude, why y'all teleporting? How did Will get there? They can teleport us? Hold on him. It has a hold on him. Ah, oh, damn it. Choice but to keep going. Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna save him. Damn it! Are you serious? Try to shove this fool. Oh, I have to try! It's go time. Girl, put your weapon back on. Get away from us! Can you reach? No escape. Oh my god, because he's away from me! Damn! Oh, this is so bad! They keep separating us! No! The F off me! Fleet of foot. Oh my god, and I can't- wait. Oh my god. Get off me! Oh <gasps> no! Where the hell is he taking him? Fuck yes. Oh my god, oh my god. No surrender. I gotta try, you know? I gotta try. Yeah, it's gonna fail because he's got me roped in. Dude, where the hell is he taking me? Oh my gosh. Shit, 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 shit. 
another step forward. Uh. Oh my god! This place is dangerous as hell, dude. I'm getting electrocuted. I don't think I can get in here. Get the Yankee? I'm gonna give that to her. There is a darkness to these warriors that endures even now, long after their lives were spent. But who did they serve? What? Who's that? Hello? They need help. 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 Who are you? Ro <gasps> Roland! What is he doing? Is he for real right now? Wait, what? Shadow curse undead? What do you mean? I'm not letting Roland die, okay? He may be annoying, but I'm not gonna do that to him. So I can't save him. I just have to get to him in time. That's it. I knew the tiefling was a fool, but this... He's an idiot is what he is. Can I throw this now? No? No, 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 no. You saved from that? Are you fucking serious? If he dies again, I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna make sure I save Roland. I'm not leaving him. And move. Maybe an idiot, but no. Torment. God damn it, god damn it. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Sorry, Asterion. No. Is he still okay? Um. Sorry, Roland. My bad. Making my move. Jimmy on the go. Uh. If I do, I don't want to hurt him. I'm gonna hurt a Sarian if I do that. Oh my god. Ignis! Yes! God damn it all! I could do nothing! Save right. him! Not a damn thing! Roll it! Chill! Oh, I'm playing as a Sarian. Um. Wait. I have to keep going. Did it glitch? Uh. I could do nothing right! Not a damn thing! What are you doing out here? I was looking for Cal and Leah. What else? Instead, I found myself cornered by shadow fiends and in need of rescue from you. Dude, oh, you could have died. Me. You were trying to help your fa- I'm gonna pretend it's me answering, okay? You were trying to help your family. You're too hard on yourself. Or not hard enough. Dude, I punishing yourself is not Cal the right thing. And Leah again. Be on your way. I'll return to last light. I know when I'm outmatched. Roland, come on, dude. Is this the house? This must be the healing house, right? Oh, no, this is Moonrise. There he is. Let me talk to him. Yes, yes. You saved me from shadow creatures. I'm not trying to gloat. I don't want you no to die, to Roland. I came to check on you. That's all. I'm fine. It's Cal and Leah who need help. Oh, my God. That could have ended badly. What if he died? What am I going to tell his siblings? You know... I feel a connection between us. Oh, do like you? We're two souls walking the same path. Do you mean this? You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. I'm listening. I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them, do you think? 
Hundreds? Thousands? We don't know. And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control- Okay, Asarian, calm down. Here we go again. Power Evil power, I won't do it. Power is just a tool. It's people that are good or evil. And even they can be a little bit, um... That's I'm the thing, you get carried away with it. There's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe. And liberate the world from this evil. I don't I I get I get the sentiment of what he's saying, but the problem is when people get power, they kinda get carried away and then they lose their way and forget like what the whole point is. Asterian is definitely somebody who wants power, and I don't think of it like him being like, oh, let me be an evil asshole, even though he acts like one. Personally, looking at his character, I know he's very hurt because of like what has happened to him and he's a slave, right? Since he is somebody who has been a slave for over 200 years, the idea of him having all this power is tempting to him because he's never had power in a very long time. And I imagine he wants to kill people who have done him wrong, you know? But the thing is, when people are suppressed from that, like, freedom, sometimes they get carried away because they don't know how to handle the freedom. And I feel like Asterian is one of those people. Not saying he's bad or anything, but he wouldn't be able to control himself. You know? That's what I think. No, absolutely not. So much for thinking you had ambition. So much for thinking Still, had ambition! We're not there yet. Maybe you'll see the light. Yet. Okay. That was stupid. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Wait, hello? You recognize the feathered creature. It's the owlbear cup you rescued. Okay, hang on. So I went to the owl bear cave, but I saw the mom in there. I didn't kill the mom. What, what is he doing here? I kind of left it because it was like, you either attack the mom or you just leave them alone. And I brought Will and he talked to them and I was like, I don't want to hurt them. So I left. What are they doing here? Fetch a piece of food from your bag. Oh, it's staring at everybody approves, huh? <laughs> the cub's eyes lock onto the food in your hand. Toss the food. The creature gulps the food down. It seems he has. Yeah, I didn't want to eat from my hands. I feel like it's gonna eat me. Can, oh can... my gods! <laughs> Look at his little beak! Oh, come here, you doll! Oh, Carlac! Damn it! You scared it off. Poor little beak, you fell. We you scared it! Hope he finds his way back. Oh my gosh. I hope it comes back. I didn't think it would show up, so then did the mom die? Okay, so I don't know if I should continue the rest of this, like going out into the Shadowlands without the blessing. I know we're gonna start a fight, but maybe I should talk to Jahira first and then go to uh, Isabel at the top later, because uh, I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'm worried. <laughs> Be welcome. Have a drink. Okay. She's such a fangirl, it's so cute! You'll have to pardon my friend Karlak, she's very excited to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, she's so cute! It's an honor, m'lady. <laughs> she did not just m'lady well, her. Karlak. Why does it say medicine? Oh my god, reroll. Add a bonus. Help me out, Shadowheart. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Oh Jahira no wonder she's being friendly because she she, she did she doesn't really like us. <laughs> it doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. No, but it spoils my trust. Indulge me. You know what, F it, drink it. Bottoms up. Shadowheart disapproves. 
well over a century old and yet it hasn't so i can't lie to her flavor. is basically what that, so sure that about you, herb she put People in there tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them i speak from experience as an air about you something alien Answer i mean there is a worm in my head lie. the parasite is changing you isn't it oh lie to her i don't want to lie though because like I get what she's trying to do. I get where she's coming from, but it's like I don't want to lie because I want them to trust me. You know, like the tieflings trust me. I need her and her people to trust me. And I don't want to say it's changing me for the better because I don't agree with that. I see now why you spiked my wine. Just answer the question. Yes, the parasite is giving me powers I've never had before. It's changing me for the better. Look around you. Could I don't think it's changing me for the better. I'm still not sure about it, so... Here. Two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Yeah, I mean, me, myself. I, I like to think we can. You can trust me. Good. <laughs> because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. Okay, I fair enough. I <laughs> to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. <laughs> if he's back, perhaps you should have hit him harder in the first place. <laughs> Who was... Is he? General Gadric Thorn. Yeah, I keep hearing that name. that name. He's the leader of the absolute. And all the notes we found and whatever. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very That's village. That's the freaking thing we found at the Alongside the, the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Wait, Shadowheart, do Not you have nothing to say General about this? Gadric Thorn live again. It seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army what of the What the F? He must have some spell on, on him. destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Thank you. Invincibility, that's powerful magic. Thankfully, I have my own. And the wit to know when it will not avail you, I think. We must try another way. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Catherick days are numbered. I'll make sure of it. Oh wait, this is gonna make me piss off Shadowheart. Um... Without a cure for your infection, <laughs> your days are numbered too. Yeah. Did you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us? I like you. Oh, thanks. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Interesting. Then, so he's probably the one who had the magic over us. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Okay. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. <sighs> Well, that should- I, I'm surprised she didn't say anything about this. I figured Shadowheart would have commentary. You, sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Catherick Thorm, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. 
A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. Okay, good. I'll That's good. see where his allegiances truly lie. You know what? I'm proud of Shadowheart. I really thought she was going to be like, well, he's part of, you know, Lady Shar's temple and worships Lady Shar, so we have to be allies with it. She's questioning it. I like that. Good for you. Yeah, I don't think I can get to the house of, was it healing? Without the, the protection. So I think I'm going to have to go up and talk to Isabel. I'm scared. Wait, wait, bust of Kethrak? A bust of Kethrak Thorm as he once was. A devotee of Saluna. So wait, did I get that wrong? He's a devotee of Saluna or Shar? So he was for- oh. She's not gonna like this one, I'm gonna take it anyway. So he was originally worshipping Saluna and then he got corrupted to go to worship Shar? Is that what they're trying to say to me? Ever since I returned, there is a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never get out. This dark that reeks within me. There are some things that even the moon maid cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should have never come back. What? What is she talking about? Ooh. What is she doing? She's pretty, sorry. <laughs> she's pretty. Oh yeah, and then she's using the moonlight. Oh, that's why there's a shield over it. She's the one doing it. That makes sense. Is she okay? She mentioned that like she had darkness in her? I like what's she talking about? An audience. Oh, sorry. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Hi. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Look at Shadow Heart's face. She hates her. And I've heard you're the protector of this inn, the Banisher of Shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. Yeah, that's why I'm using it to my it's advantage. almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Yes, I'm gonna need that because I need to go get, do things too. <laughs> I'm just looking at Shadow. <laughs> She's like, what the f Perfect. Oh my god, this It'll is funny. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse. Okay, cool. Which will get you closer to the towers. Perfect. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker. I hope that's stronger. like eh, the, the places where I want to go. I'm hoping it will help. The deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. <gasps> oh. Um, I, I'm assuming they the the cultists are able to navigate because remember near the guy that was like trapped um, with the gnomes and the rubble he had like a lamp he said he it, he had a lamp but it broke I'm assuming they have that like multiple lamps that's how they're walking around but I don't know um anything else I should know before heading off Catherick is a frightening man but you have something he doesn't allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? What? Something's wrong. What? What the hell is that? <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus. 
Is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. Wait, why does he have you wings? Is that normal? Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. No? I said we follow the wind freak. Isabel, do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. Uh, how about no? What the hell? Ooh, I'm gonna do this. I know I have like one from blood loss, but like, I'm gonna try. Oh, it's just six. Okay. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. Why? What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Did you guys notice that like every thing that uh, every person that they kidnap is like an important person, like a leader, somebody who has power. Like, why do they need all these people like that? Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The That's absolute you. sees all. Your treachery will be punished. I don't care. Tell the him to come absolute. fight me. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Wings? That's what you asked for? What a weirdo. What? What the hell is that? Oh no, no, not the kids, not the kids! No, are people gonna die? Guide my hand. Bro, what the f Are you kidding? Sir! Oh, hell to the no. Oh, don't hurt them. Wait, oh, what is going on? Oh You'll my god. Yeah, get him, Jahira. Get him, get him. Okay. a little further that way we have some sort of defense no roland i just saved your ass <laughs> what the hell is going on wait halson is he good oh my gosh dude they're surrounding us Okay, that kind of, yeah, did something. Sure. Get away! Nothing will stand in my way. Oh, I'm gonna set everybody on fire if I do this. I'd rather get rid of one. Let me try to push. <laughs> it worked! I'm so glad that worked. That's kind of funny. No! I can't even see him. Halson, help! Oh my god, this is ridiculous. No, no, 
could I have saved her? Bitch, I had to kill him. I have to kill him. No, 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 no. I'm gonna save her. Are you joking? Is this supposed to happen? Isabel. No. What in the nine hells happened? Marcus is a true soul. He said he's taking Isabel to the Catholic tomb. God spare us. Catherick was planning our demise all along. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, your me as impossible but hard. Oh hell no! No, we're we're gonna reload. I ain't doing that. I thought I could just like fight everybody and then take him out last. You know what I mean? I think I really have to like go in on the guy. And attack him. That's the only way. Because I don't think the others would be willing to kill her. I don't know. Okay, so I got an idea. This may be a little bit tricky, though. The doors. I'm going to see if I can block the doors so they can't come in here and attack us. Can we pick up wardrobes and shit? Is that a possibility? Pick up all of this. That way they're, like, blocked in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know Jahira can't get to us, but at least she can fight all the ones outside. Close this door. Can you move this? No, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start stacking up boxes. F this sh Maybe this will like buy me time at least so I can like fight everybody. Just gonna make it difficult as difficult as I possibly can for these damn people. <laughs> Alright, um. What else can I pick up? Here we go, Me? another chair. I'm gonna laugh my ass off if this actually works. Okay, let's see. What else can I stack up? Okay, that can go up there. Now I'm gonna have to block this area with the candles. And then... This door we can't really block because, like, this is, like, the main thing, right? As okay, I, hang on as a me. second. Let me pick up these. And maybe I can, like, create a box around there? I don't know. Let's see. This might be... St I don't know if this will, like, interfere with the cutscene, but... I'm gonna see if this will work. Something like this. <laughs> oh my god. If this works, I'm gonna laugh so hard, please. Okay, let's see if this will work. Everybody get in here. Close the door. Okay, uh, put this basket up here. Put this candle over here. Okay. 
I may be a genius. I think this is my best, best thing yet. Yeah, I'll make it up here too. <laughs> okay, let's see if this will work. All right, if this works, oh my God, I love this game so much. If this really works. All right. Damn. Holson's in it. Okay, Holson's in it this time. Yeah. Get him, Jahira. Okay, 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 okay. Um. There we go. Okay, so that way it's kind of like there's a pathway. Anyway, um. Oh, I don't want to do that either because that will hurt them. Miss? Get back, you. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta take him out fast. That's it? That's all I can do? Um, hang on, wait. Protection from energy. Oh my god. I guess I'll just put this on here. I don't know. I'm so determined to do- Yeah, there you go, Halson! Get him! Come up! Can't get in here. Oh, this one got in, though. Oh, I should have done a better job locking that door. I just wasn't sure about the cutscene, that's why. That, you damn I have to try she's paralyzed are you kidding me right now Come on, somebody must have saved her. This can't be the only outcome that she just gets taken. I'm not letting it happen. Oh my god, Halsane, are you petrified too? Sakes. Advantage, bitch, what the hell? Target must be human. Damn it. This man singing in my ear is really distracting! <laughs> oh my god, Halsen! Oh. 
Oh, nice job, Roland. Good job, good job. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Um, I'm gonna throw this on her. <sighs> Not on myself! Are you joking? <gasps> what the hell? I was trying to heal her! How long is Halson paralyzed for? One more turn, son of a- try again. Let me try throw it because like that didn't work apparently. Path is interrupted. <sighs> I can't believe she just dodged. Girl, I'm trying to save your life. safe in this room, but now we need to get out. Hang on. Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. No, they don't. Kederick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. Good luck. Thank you. Oh my We're god. In more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Marcus told me Cathrak wanted you captured, not kill. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power. They spite, they have use for all these people. Personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Once I take Catherick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Catherick will have none on you. Honestly, f this, this dude. Let me take his sh though. Corpse ring. Hey. That too. Oh, there's a Mind Flayer specimen again. Damn, I'm glad everyone's okay, especially like Halson. I was kind of worried. But I'm so glad my stupid plan worked. Oh my goodness. I love I love this game a lot. Seriously, that it allows you to do something like this? That's funny. Nobody got hurt for real though, right? I think everybody's okay. Except for Mole. Where did she go? Mole would do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. Don't worry, kid. We've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. You stay put, I'll bring Mole home. But it's our 
job to bring Mom Yeah, back. and your kids. Look I ain't letting you. She's a proper adventurer. Thank you. And if we got hurt, Mom would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. Of course. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. Dude, I'm glad I like re too, uh, reloaded because like, oh God. Let's just focus on defeating Cathrak. Agreed. We must Everything leads back to Moonrise, Moonrise so we're gonna have together. to go there anyway. With your help. We stand every chance of doing just that. I trust that you will. Well, now that I have, like, uh, Isabelle's blessing, I could walk around properly. Arms oh. down. Hello? You oh, it's you guys. Moonrise, and I have orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep, even a torch cannot quell it. Yet, the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. Yeah, the I've heard. The cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. You know what? Let's go take on this convoy first, and then that way we can have proper protection walking through here. Let's take on the convoy. You lead, I follow. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Thank Harper's you. with me. Stray no well, I'd rather fight with them, honestly, I, than by myself, because like these shadow things are crazy. Alright, let's go. Oh, I knew it had to be this way when we found those bodies, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of right. It is somewhere over here. We bring <gasps> to your church every day, my queen. What the f is that the thing? Is a legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Uh, okay. Your faith will stand ready, Majesty. That's the lamp. We Soon. saw that with Nier. Soon the world will bow to you. Damn, he kind of hot if he didn't have spider yeah. legs. Where, boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Clear your and then make yourself not stay hidden and keep watching. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm gonna be bait. You guys wait here. I'll make myself bait. What's this? The Drider's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you. Ew, okay, never mind. Take it back. He's got like five uh, extra eyes on his head. <laughs> your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. I don't know. One of your true souls, my queen. How have they survived? I burn with pure arcana. How on earth did you survive? Our goddess protects us. We carry her sacred light to drive back the shadows. Yes, majesty. Your light can shield another of your faithful. They will join us on the road. That lantern is mine by order of the absolute. Drop it or I'll boil your brains inside your skull. <laughs> we need it, okay? Majesty, is, is this true? Did I not serve you well? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. If it is your will, we can have it. Damn. So how does this work exactly? They don't know. Our queen told them nothing. The lamp's light keeps the shadows at bay. Thank you. Stops them from getting close enough to grab us. Silence. The absolutes favored are speaking. Damn. She has blessed the lantern's light. It is the absolute who protects us from the shadows. Protects us from what? What are the shadows exactly? Simply shadows. Cursed, hungry shadows trying to grab the living. And they are getting stronger. But do not worry. There is still power in the lantern. Our queen will protect you, as she protected me. Okay. It's time to go, Lantern Bearer. 
The sooner we clear the dark, the better. Ooh, indeed, it is time for you to go. What do you mean, go? We can't go without you. The shadows will tear us to pieces. Oh no! This is not Her Majesty's will. Ooh. <laughs> this is f***ed up. There, now you carry the blessing of the absolute. You will be safe. Oh my god. <laughs> if it is a majesty's will. Yup, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You Go out there. Serious. You're fine. You know what's out there. If it is her majesty's will, then we shall walk! She will protect us. She? They're gonna get eaten alive by shadows, so I guess in a sense... She must. We kind of killed them without having to, like, fight? Yup, there they go. Damn, that's kind of brutal. I would believe it if I hadn't just seen it. Nicely done. Thanks. I'm now glad I could do that without here. attacking anyone. All right, perfect. Impressive. Thank you. Away with words. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Examine the drider. The lantern's there for the taking. All right, we got the lantern. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. Okay. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These a fake pixie? creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Ooh. Oh, please. Oh, golly me, oh, my. You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Use you for magic within you? Disgusting. Wait, should I release it? It's like a chance thing, isn't it? Oh, God. You're the fuel for the lantern. How does that work? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Poor thing. A life of torture. We should let her go. Shouldn't we? What's the mechanism at the base of this lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. Oh god, do I let her in here? Oh god, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna release the pixie because I kind of feel bad and I don't want it to like linger in there. I don't know. I don't like being cruel. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Uh, okay. Did you turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Ooh. I need to get through the shadow curse. Can you help me? Sure, I can. But will I? Girl, I just let you out. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words, and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Curious little thing. Do I just use it? Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your life. Wait, what? Oh, so I have to- I have to- Oh, okay, so I have to ask her when I want to use this. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Crates and caravans. The town toll house, surely. It's, it's so Money. dark in here. Money. Oh, <gasps> wow, even the lights don't even light up. That's crazy. Okay. I think going this way is to Moonrise, so we're gonna go this way instead. Oh, what the? Hello? T tread carefully. You are still necessary. Huh? And gods, what's that smell? Sulfur. I'm still necessary? 
What do you mean by that? Mason Guild. See that symbol on the ground? This was a Mason's Guild. Maybe a nice big hammer for Karlak. Yeah, there could be. Hang on. We'll go in there in a second. I just want to, like, unlock most of the map so I know where we're going, you know? Somebody's watching us, though. It seems. What the hell? It's me! Parabello! Answer me, please! What the hell is this kid doing out here? Hey! I know you! I saved you last You're time! Oh, hell, kid. What are you doing out here? Twist him up. <laughs> when did you learn that? Isn't that Arabella? The little girl Korga nearly killed? Yeah. Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. No incantations. Impressive. That sorcery came from within. That druid idol I took? It changed me. Oh. I can do all sorts of stuff now. Not just the vines. Maybe that's how she survived out here. I can say some loud words and then it happens. Mostly. I mean, that's cool. What are you doing out here? It's not safe. I was looking for mom and pops. When Zevlor... When he... Well... There was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So oh we ran. no, I girl, you need to get to the me. inn! Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. Yeah, of course, kid. Just like, freaking go back to the inn. I'll find your parents. You can count on me. Thanks, miss. I knew you'd help me again. Of course, the vines kid. won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find mum and pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. There's an inn called The Last Light. Alfreya's there, you'll be safe. No way. Why? I mean, I'm sure you think that. But you ain't seen what I've seen. I don't trust no one sides myself no more. Save three. Mum, Pops, and you. Um... Take me in. I won't make a peep. Cross my heart and hope to die. Alright, kid. Of course, you can stay at my camp. Oh, thanks. I'm not gonna You're let this kid be out here so by you themselves. Send Mom and Pop's there. I'll be waiting, hero lady. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to kill these things, right? No? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, we're, we're almost there. I just need to make it past the graveyard. I think it's past the graveyard. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. That was a lot, a lot to take in, but I wanna make sure we thoroughly go through most of the Shadowlands before going to Moonrise, but yeah, everybody's just being taken there. There must be a reason why Thorm wants all these people, specifically very important, powerful people, on their side, you know? Because every single person that's been taken is- they have an advantage. So I'm- I'm wondering why. They even took the kids, and that kid's very clever too, right? They're the leader of like all the tiefling kids, so that's interesting. I'm really glad my plan worked to save uh, Isabel. But we're gonna go to uh, the House of Healing, figure out a way to cure that kid before I go straight into the Moonrise. I, I just wanna make sure that we get all of this and then go there. Cause I, I feel like I'm gonna miss something. That's what I always feel like. But yeah, this has been a chaotic episode. I'm very excited to see what will happen next. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Baldur's Gate 3, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!